Abu Ben Eden, may his tribe increase. Awake one night from a deep dream of peace, and saw, within, the moonlight in his room, making it rich and like a lily in bloom. An angel writing in a book of gold, exceeding peace had made Ben Adem bold. And to the presence in the room he said, What ridest thou? The vision raised his head. And with a look made of all sweet accord, answered, the names of those who love the Lord, and is mine one? said Abu. Nay, not so, replied the angel. Abu spoke more low, but cheerly still, and said, I pray thee then, write me as one that loves his fellow men. The angel wrote and vanished. The next night it came again with a great wakening light and showed the names whom love of God had blessed. And lo, Ben Eden's name led all the rest. Now, we will understand what the poet is trying to convey through these lines. The poet gives an account of an event in the life of a person named Abu Ben Adam. Abu was a pious man. He was the leader of a tribe and very kind and loving by nature. He had a meeting with an angel in the middle of the night. This angel had a golden book and he was writing the names of those who loved God. When Abu inquired if his name was there in the list, he replied that his name was not there. So Abu requested the angel to write his name as one who loved his fellow men. The angel wrote and disappeared. Next night, he came again into his room and showed him the list of those who had been blessed by God's love. And lo, Abu's name was on the top. So this poem conveys the idea that if you want to get God's love, love your fellow beings. Because love of men is the true love of God. It is the best way to please God and win His love.